Hello everyone, this is Sarath and welcome to Rust Planet and today the topic we are going to discuss is one of the algorithms which are used in Rust TLS implementation or in fact any TLS implementation this is also one of the important uh, algorithms we will use. So basically what we are doing is uh, we are trying to implement the like we are taking the help of an crate and using that crate we are trying to implement an algorithm for encryption and hashing and at also at, at the same time authentication of the data what we are sending. So instead of we can use a TLS stack all these things and then we'll implement the same thing but to understand a algorithm how it is uh, uh, used how we can use in general application if you want to do the encryption and uh, authentication of the message all these things if you want to implement uh, to understand like to understand the algorithm how we can use in a programmatic way so I have written a small program and I will take you to that program how it is implement like we can use using the one crate I call AWS LC and uh, RS which is a crate I'm going to use for this uh, demo so before that I will give this brief introduction of TLS whereas TLS is a um, very secure communication between and also which is TLS uh, is in trust like when you say TLS like we are trying to create a trust between the server and the client the pure, like for example here if you see there is a padlock icon which means that we can trust this uh, website so that you are not connected to any other website I am intent to connect to AWS that means I am connected and I will trust this that it is connected to AWS by seeing this padlock and also like the infrastructure is developed like that for this um, trusted the establishment between the client and server but that is the uh, that is the topic of other video but for now I'm going to explain one part in that TLS secure communication and trust establishment process okay so let's go straight into that so today what we are going to see is chacha 20 poly 1305 encryption algorithm encryption and also hashing algorithm like chacha 20 is a encryption algorithm whereas poly 1305 is a hashing algorithm by combining both these two we are trying to build a message authentication code and we are trying to authenticate the message so that the message is not trampled on the network so this thing we'll call that this is a part of authenticated encryption with additional data or associated data which is a part of specifications part of TLS 1.2 and TLS 1.3 so what are these advantages of this is this is very fast performance like when you see the compare the performance of the AES and this Chacha 20 the performance of Chacha 20 is very fast compared to AES GCM so GCM is one more algorithm which we will use in um, uh, TLS implementation so there are multiple algorithms we will use for uh, encryption and hashing in TLS 1.2 as well as 1.3 so in that we are going to see this charts are this thing okay so in this if you see there are like uh, algorithm these two algorithms so like how the encryption is taking place and how the charts are encryption sorry all the hashing is taking place and how the encryption is taking place that we are going to see uh, on the code so that uh, we will go into that there will be along with this uh, charge algorithm there will be two points like if you say there will be counter like which is a 30 bit count 32 bit counter counter is a value it is a value which we are going to use uh, uh, while doing the encryption and uh, and also uh, while doing the encryption and as well as uh, hashing the, uh, sorry we will use this while encryption and no nouns also we will use while doing the encryption to make sure that the if you give a string for uh, encryption 
and even the nouns also same and the key also same so that will change the counter so that the data what we are uh, encrypting will not if it's trying to do the same data encryption two three times we'll get a different output from the uh, for with the same key and uh, counter which same key and norms uh, we'll get the same uh, we, we make sure that we'll not get the same data encrypted data by using the counter so that the counter makes sure that uh, like uh, the same data have been uh, done multiple times the encryption it will give different different data so that the it will give the more security so that from the people the person who is trying to uh, uh, monitoring our network yes so here you can shortly of this is like combined ad mode as I added to the open ssh via chacha poly 1305 that is open ssh.com on cipher like this is the part of this this one this chacha poly is a open ssh is a part of open ssh uh, algorithm implementation so the standard it will follow a standard like uh, uses means the same algorithm is using in tls 1.2 and uh, 1.3 also so if you want to know more details about the specifications all these things implementers you can go and check this one so this is the uh, block like building block or you can say uh, algorithm block so where we'll have associated data and there is a plain text so we are trying to here we have a counter so for count like poly to when we are trying to generate a poly key, poly key like which is a 32 bit 32 bytes key and also key stream which is here we are doing the uh, what you call uh, encryption here we'll get a count key and we'll key and this associated data and plain text we'll use to generate the authentication tag so authentication tag will be useful to authenticate the uh, encrypted data so whatever the encrypted data we produce here like here what we are doing we are using a key and a nuance and a counter to generate a to generate the cipher text which is like encrypted data we'll get so so this thing like this block like how we are going to do that thing we'll see in the code so th this thing you understood i hope that you understood let's go into the code directly so here the code so uh, let's go with the cargo.toml file first so here i'm using ads ws lcrs correct next i am using aws uh, lc system so whether i'm using the system here no system i'm not using so you don't need to consider this one like you can say this is we can comment out this anyway we are not using that so yeah so we are using this aws lcrs uh, 161 mm, version and rand random number generator which is for uh, generating a keys needed for our poly charge at this time so what i have defined here are i am importing the charge poly open ssh library uh, component of that and then in that opening keys and ceiling keys i am importing after that from rand i am taking the range core which is used for uh, generating the random numbers which is the core component of an, any cryptographic operation so so we are generate we are not building any random number generator ourselves we are taking that from the os os random number generator we are taking that so that it will be very trustworthy one so then we are using file and read so here basically what we are doing we'll give a file to this application the application will uh, takes the data from the file and encrypts it and then creates a authentication tag for it and we can verify that the tag and the data again we can get back the data with using this uh, same thing like using this library so how we are doing that i'm going to show you how we are going to do that okay so first first initially i'm defining the 
uh, of key length which is like 32 bytes like the key length of this program what we are taking is 32 bytes whereas 32 bytes and key length length is 64 like the key length actual key length we are taking is this one but the keys like 64 bytes and the keys we use for encryption and uh, hashing is of um, hashing is of 32 bytes so hashing and also creating a signature message signature we are using 32 bytes so tag length this is the tag uh, like after doing the signing uh, signing of the data encrypted data will get a tag the tag length of the data is 16 bytes which will be used for authentication and uh, the maximum bytes this is defined but this is not we are using so fine no issue with that so let's see some of the functions other functions we have defined outside so this is the function which you will you will useful use it to get the data from a file and into a buffer we'll get a file from the command line argument and that data will be stored into the buffer whatever the data we read from the file will be stored in this buffer and that buffer we'll send it for encryption and hashing and sign signature generation so if you see here i'm passing a file path as a string reference and here i'm sending a buffer which i created in the main to this function so that whatever the data i read from the file will be put into this buffer okay then i'm trying to do the match on this so that uh, if it is successful or not uh, if it's successful then i will get a file pointer uh, file pointer then uh, if it is not then I, it will panic so once i get the file pointer i'm trying to read the string from the file and uh, storing the data into the buffer i'm doing one wrap and it will generate uh, it will give the length of the data i read from the file and that will be u size and sending it back to the depth similarly i have a generate uh, poly key like the key which is useful for uh, encryption and also at the same time uh, for the hashing so that hashing and uh, like not for hash not signing like sorry so uh, for ha encryption and signing which will use for that key generation we are doing by using a random which is a system random thread rand which is the function which, uh, which is a uh, part of this rand function trend module so I'm taking that here what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a keys different keys like if I want a 8 bit key 8 bytes key then I'm giving the range if I want 16 bytes key I'm giving the range if I want 32 bytes key I'm giving 32 if I want 64 get key I'm giving 64 but here there is a catch here this one I have to figure it out that uh, I'm not able to send so that's why I'm sending all the data means any key is generated I'm sending that at data as 64 bytes but in the main function we can change that so that whenever we need uh, according to that I can sync that uh, data to that particular uh, 8 bit or 16 bit like that so that thing I have to do that in the main function so for now I am taking I'm sending the 64 bytes it will work fine so no issues you understand right I'm generating a random number here that random number I'm sending as a key key to the main function when whenever I call that it will generate a random number or a random key that will be assigned to as a key byte so I'm assigning to that here if you see the argument one is the file which we are trying to encrypt and hashing we want to do that file data file path we are providing here that will be captured into the file path okay once we'll get generate a uh, key of 64 bytes that will be assigned to the key bytes and that key bytes again divided into which is a 64 bytes that will be again divided into two parts of 32 32 one is uh, uh, the key 
like the both 32 bytes will be divided into two keys whereas if we go into this ceiling key and keys we have key 1 and key 2 so the 32 bytes first 32 bytes will be key 1 which is key 1 for chacha 20 key and k2 is chacha 20 key which is used for encryption and also the same key we are going to use for like this is used for sealing sealing in the sense encryption and opening we are using the same keys for opening also opening in the sense decryption okay let's go next steps so now I am here what I'm doing trying to do is I'm creating a, a string of buffer in a heap string of buffer in a heap then whatever the read file like I'm calling this read file by passing the data buffer so that the whatever the data is read from this file will be stored into this data buffer and here I will get the packet length like how many bytes I have read from the file will be stored into this data buffer then I am trying to do get the packet length packet length here what we defined it is the maximum packet length will be 4 bytes 4 bytes it is in the sense like 32 bits we can use like then uh, 2 power 32 whatever the size will come so how that many bytes of data we can place or read we can read so that can be stored that that length will be stored into this packet length which is a 4 bytes then what I am doing is I am creating one more buffer which is in out buffer which is new with a new using vector so here what I am doing uh, into this buffer I am trying to put into that packet length first so the first, first 4 bytes will be filled with the packet length and after that I am placing the data whatever the data I have read from the file I am placing into the next remaining bytes pushing that so once it is done then I have, I have the length in the 4 bytes starting 4 bytes I have a length of the string length of the string I have read from the file and remaining uh, uh, bytes I have the data read from the file so once this is done now I am trying to assert the uh, what is there if both are same or not obviously they should be same like what is data in the in out buffer like uh, I am cloning that so that I can use I am getting like uh, like if you are using uh, uh, mutable data multiple times you will get an error like means mutable like you can use in a program only one mutable time pointer at a time but if you are using the mutable pointer multiple times you will get an error which is the one or uh, borrowing concept like you can have a only one mutable reference at a time but if you are taking multiple mutable references then you will get an error so to overcome that what we are doing we are trying to clone the data so that we will have it same data of two copies so we are using that same the two copies to do the our uh, operations okay then what we are doing is now again we copied this and now we are doing the split split of the data what we have got if we are splitting that into two parts one is a one is one will store one will store the reference to the four bytes which is reference to 4 bytes a will store the reference to 4 bytes which is the uh, uh, length of the data whereas b will store the data data what we uh, read from the file now we are trying to print what is the data there like inside the buffer what we read from the buffer we are trying to print that so that we can verify that the same thing is coming out after the decryption and also data length what is the length of the data we have taken like how many bytes we have taken and then then we are checking the tag length sorry we are trying to check what is the tag like here we created the tag of 16 bytes so it is a we know the size of the tag at, uh, at compile time only that's why we paste it uh, uh, directly the 16 bits it is a fixed one so we kept the 16 bytes so then we are checking that we are printing that 
then what we are doing we are sending the data and the keys whatever the keys we generated like the ceiling key what we generated using that what you are calling ceiling in place so the ceiling in place will do the actual encryption and signing of the it will generate a tag authentication tag so for that what we are doing we are giving the data what we have and the tag we are giving so that once that ceiling is done we will get get an encrypted data along with that we will get a authenticated tag so if you go into this function what is going on here is we are getting a sequence number which is like here whatever sequence number we are giving zero so and then uh, these things we are giving like we are giving the input data and the tag so here what is happening is once it is done then we are we are getting a reference of that data whatever in the main so that uh, the main will have access to that it is not having the ownership it is keeping its ownership but it is giving a reference so, and also we are giving the reference of the tag so using the sequence number we are making a nuance so the same nuance has to be used uh, while decrypting so that if you do use a different nuance it will not uh, give the same data back when we are doing decryption so now what we are doing is poly key here trying to generate a poly key poly key which will be useful for doing the uh, generating a tag like which is used for uh, generating a tag so that thing uh, we're going to use that so let's check this once so what we are doing here so here what we are doing is let we are doing poly key key we are generating verify sorry we are came into a wrong place open place it is I think uh, yes sir this one we have to go yes this is the like sequence plain text all this we can so what we are doing is generating in uh, nuance and then we are creating a poly key poly key what we are uh, how we are getting the poly key is self we know, have seen that initially that self and the key and the key to nuance is fixed length we are getting a like here we generated the nuance so we are sending that nuance as a reference here uh, fixed length whatever the length it is defined so that length we are sending here from nuance as reference we are sending that means we are initializing this then we are sending to nuance and the key we are sending so that it will generate a poly key so if we go we can go and check that one huh? like how it is generating a poly key so finally it's generating it uh, like it's sending that so that the poly key will be generated here so let's go back here and now we'll go into the this then here we we'll get a poly key here poly key once we get then what we are doing length in out and data and padding in out so we are doing the split whatever the text is there based on this length like we have discussed before the size of the data will be 32 by 32 bits or we can say 4 bytes length will be stored there so 4 bytes first 4 bytes that is length of the data and second 4 bytes second means except that 4 bytes remaining everything is a data so that thing we are separating here then we are doing the encryption of the uh, uh, length bytes separately and encryption of the data separately here what we are doing here we are doing the bulk encryption not chunk encryption here we are doing bulk encryption so we here we are using two keys one key is for uh, uh, data length bytes to encrypt to, um, length of the data bytes like what is the length is there of the byte that one to encrypt we are using k1 key and for uh, for encrypting the data we are using k2 key so the same thing we have to do for when you are decrypting 
like k1 we have to use for decrypting of length and uh, k2 we have to use for decrypting of data so that thing we have to make sure that when we are doing that if you go into this like the same thing and this counter everything we are going like if you go into here like finally when you come here that all the data and everything will be calling into an crypto chacha 20 which is a this function is part of an os like if you see here linux x86 64 crypto this will call into the systems like the linux inside the linux there will be functions for these all things cryptographic operations so we are calling the the os related function which is called system calls so that they will return the required uh, what you call required uh, data back or encrypted uh, strings back to the application okay so once it is done then what we are doing like once the length and the data is done then what we are doing we are taking the tag we are generating a tag how we are generating already we generated the signature key poly key that poly key we are taking and then the plain text in cipher suit out the plain text in the sense what we are doing is it's complete whatever the text we have so here you given the reference so whenever these functions returns the value that will be present in this uh, reference uh, data so there will be encryption of uh, the length will be in the four bytes and remaining uh, bytes will have the data encrypted uh, data so the entire data encrypted data we are sending to this poly sign so that it will has us all this like if we go into this so if you go into this so what we are doing here is key and update input what we are doing context key we are generating here so and update input so update input means we are giving bulk encryption at a time we are giving entire data into update then what we are doing once we will give then we are doing a finish on that so once we do the finish what it will do whatever the encrypted data is there the entire data uh, will be hashed into one size size and then the hash data will be signed with the key poly key so that we will get a 16 byte tag which will be sent along with the encrypted data i hope it makes sense So once that is done, then we will get the tag. So we are checking that whether the tag length and tag length what we have sent is same. And then what we are doing, copy out slice means whatever the tag is there, that again we are copying into this uh, tag out. So whatever, like we have taken a tag, that one what we are sent finally whatever it came here that thing we are copying into this this tag is copying into this tag out and that is written back to the main so finally what we are doing here is we are trying to print these things like here for example i will show uh, that thing so you'll understand what is going on here then we are going to this one. okay let's see that now i'm running the code so yeah so initially what i'm doing this is the data what i've uh, given to this this is what is here in that data i've given the file name here so if you check the file name txt dot txt text dot txt what will there in that hello world too so that is the data here this is the data if you convert into ASCII this will be the uh, corresponding um, hello world to bytes so then data length is 14 if you check 14 or not like this is 
five six and one more five eleven ten twelve fourteen right so data length is fourteen and then authentication tag initially it is zero that means if you see here uh like and so that authentication tag is in the sense like okay there we are I will show that here data data length tag authentication tag so all before we're doing this uh, ceiling in place which is encryption before doing encryption that all we are printing here after again once we've done the encryption again we are printing the, the same thing like other is uh, encrypted data is there or not so what we've done this is the data there's a length the tag is zero then once the encryption is done this is the encrypted data and corresponding authentication tag of this encrypted data is this one we generated this so the same thing again we have to decrypt so decrypt for that what we are doing again whatever the encrypted data like we have to do open in place open in place is the we are doing decryption of the data checking input data and checking the tag data for authentication so here what it will do we'll do we'll do the what you call uh, decryption of the data before doing the decryption we have to check the tag is proper or not once the tag is authenticated then only we will going for decryption so if you go inside here here first thing what we are doing here is we are generating a nuance okay once we generate the nuance what we are trying to do derive a poly key like how you derived the poly key before like same way we are deriving the poly key which is to uh, verify the tag the initial first step is to verify the tag that's why we are trying to create the poly key so that key we will use for uh, like authentication so once we get that what we are doing we are sending that key and the cipher text and the tag so we are going we will go into verification this one so here what we are doing we are taking the poly key and the message what you got and the tag so what we are doing here again the same process like we are taking the message and the key but these three things we are taking and this message is a encrypted data so finally what we will get is the signature how we generated before like in the ceiling ceiling also we have did the same thing like if you go here if you check the same thing like we are giving a poly key and a plain text we are getting a tag and tag length similarly similarly if you go here same thing again we are doing here so that uh, the same thing will happen like uh, so that we will get the same uh, sorry we have to go into this yeah same thing like we are doing here so cyber text and verification if you go inside we are doing the same thing again we are creating a uh, calculated tag why because we are not taking this uh, tag length only we are taking the tag here so that whatever the tag we are getting that one want to verify the size are equal so whatever the tag we get here like from the function fast like this mess this tag and what we are generated here both we are trying to compare so what we will do assert that both so what we will doing here is length here we are specifying verify slice are equal so once slices are equal or not we are checking here and then we are doing copy the result is ok so both like the comparison part we are sending here so that if both are comparisons are ok then that is verified so let's go back here uh, so 
verify then uh, verify sla slash slash are equal so here if we come then if both are equal not equal then we are sending error let unsafe crypto mem copy we are doing and uh, here uh, compare sorry we are doing the comparison of uh, two slices so if it is uh, result is uh, zero that's okay otherwise it is unspecified means that is not equal the both slices so when you say that both slices are equal that means we are authenticating that the data what we are encrypted before is the same like we get the same data from the back like this part uh, will be uh, done at uh, when the client is sending data we will use a ceiling in place but at the same time when the server is trying to verify this that time uh, the server uses open in place similarly when the server is sending data that time it will be ceiling place and the client will use this open in place and try to verify the authenticity of the data what is sent on the this thing so here one more code which is to once this is authentication established then we will get the at the same time we will get the plain text also along with that so if you go here we have seen authentication is done once this is successful this is successful as it says question mark here so if it is true we will go ahead if it is false we will panic like the authentication failed so if it is successful that means the data there is no change on the network so this data can be uh, decrypted so that thing what we are doing again we are taking the length from packet length like the decryption here we are doing is like only from packet length that is except we are keeping the uh, length part apart and we are only decrypting the data part so whatever the decryption part I mean uh, encryption part in the data that part only we are trying to decrypt which we done with the K2 so that same K2 key we are using to decrypt again back so how we are doing like we are taking uh, encryption in place so again what we are doing we are taking the so same encryption in place uh, uh, example the same thing what we are doing we are giving the announce nouns and uh, this is fixed we are giving one here okay counter one we are giving so the now this is also same like uh, we are also here giving uh, nouns we are not passing but whatever we get here will be similar to what we have used before so this both has to be matched and the counter value has to be matched so then so if it want to check that if we go here what is that we have used for this one your counter value is one here we used when we are initially encrypted the data that time so the same function where again like key everything like the same thing we are using uh, while decrypting also so the same function can be used for decryption also so what we are going here so here we are calling uh, encryption in place and we are going to announce and a plain text in like now what we are doing we are giving the key and we are again we are encrypting so now what we will get actual data we will get before what we done we will given a data and the key what we get we get the encrypted data again if you do the encryption again once again we will get the decryption like encryption two times with the same key we will give the decryption value so first time if you do with the key 2 then you will get encrypted data if you do second time with the same key then you will get again decrypted data so that thing we are doing here so finally we will get the complete like if you go into here again if you go here the same function encryption in place chacha this one if you go here the same crypto chacha 20 again we are going into that I hope you understood that once it is done then we can again we will come back so the whatever data we got so what we are doing here so now we get the data plain text now we are asserting that 
so just to visually should see that we are trying to uh, uh, uncomment this print statement so let's do for that we'll clear it clear now we'll see now we will see this is the data then data length now authenticated tag there is nothing in this authenticated tag then we did encryption of this data with the key for this encryption what we use we have to key to but in this four part this uh, this part is encryption of the data length and this part is This part is data. So how many bytes? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 4. So this part is data and this part is length. So when we are decrypting, so this tag, authentication tag will use us all this data and create this tag while creating an authentication tag and while uh, uh, this tag while using the decryption what we are doing only we are decrypting this data for now like there are we have defined two functions two methods like two phase where we can decrypt this data like this part is decrypted separately we using k1 k1 key and this part is decrypted separately using k2 key because we have used different keys like k1 key k1 key used for encrypting uh, data length and k2 key user for encrypting uh, data data like data length is encrypted with k1 and that the data length is encrypted with k1 and the data is encrypted with k2 so i hope it is understood and we generated this uh, authentication tag with all these data not like we have used entire like data length and also the encrypted data to generate authentication code finally once the authentication is verified then we did the decryption of the this is this part is only the description of the data and uh, next part like this part whatever we are seeing here we are trying to this part we are trying to decrypt the data length so that thing if you want to see like whether that is giving proper data decrypted data length now if you run so you can see the data length is 14 and here also decrypted data length is 14 so therefore it's working fine so that is the overall so to summarize the same thing will happen when the bulk encryption of our data transfer happening between the client and server the client will do the sealing process first and then it will generate encrypted data and the tag it will send it on the network once it is sent on the network the server received it then the server will do the reverse process which is open in place function it will uses and it will decrypt the data decrypt the, first it will authenticate the data with the tag it is received and once the tag is authentication is established then it will go for the decryption and then once the decryption is done then it will take the data and use this further so in brief that is thing and i hope you found it is interesting and you can find this code on github for now i have uh, not pushed this code i will push the code yeah thank you please like subscribe and hit the bell icon Thank you and have a uh, bye bye.